Hi guys, as you can tell I'm in a different location. Today I'm filming near my vanity. Um, actually no, I just didn't fancy filming near my bed and my whole room is a mess and so I thought I would <laughs> film in an area where it's not so messy. Hope you guys like it. Um, I have had someone ask me if I'm going to do a makeup collection and I will do that once I hit um, once I hit 1,000 subscribers, so make sure to comment, rate and subscribe and yeah. So today I'm going to be filming the 40 beauty question tags and I just didn't really have many ideas of what to film so I just thought I would film it and I quite like the questions on here. Yeah, let's get started. Um, The first question, and I've just got the questions all on my phone here, yeah, so yeah, let's get started. How many times do you wash your face daily? Um, I would say that I wash my face in the morning when I wake up and at night when I have a shower in the shower, so twice. Um, what skin type do you have? I have oily combination skin, so it's mostly oily all year round. It doesn't really get dry, but during, during the winter it gets a bit more dry. Um, around my cheeks I just get really dry patches um, but even with them dry patches I still have extremely oily oily skin what is your current facial wash so I'm currently using the Garnier skin essentials um, yeah so with great water so that's the facial wash that I'm using but if you want to know all about my skincare I have made a skincare video so do check that out do you exfoliate and yeah I exfoliate about three times a week I don't know what's the right amount but I exfoliate three times a week what brand do you use I just use the Garnier I quite like Garnier skincare um, and if you want to know which exfoliate I use check out my skincare routine what moisturizer do you use I use this boots moisturizing cream and it's like one pound fifty i love this this is like my holy holy grail do you have any freckles no i do not do you use eye cream no i don't use eye cream i just feel like it's more of like a old like i'm 18 like i don't feel like i've got i need to moisturize in like intensively underneath my eyes do you or did you have acne prone skin? No, I have never had acne prone skin. I have been so blessed with good skin. Well, good skin. Um, Yeah, I have always had really good skin and I do get spots when it's that time of the month or just randomly I get a spot if I break out, you know, because I'm using some, some something. But generally I do not get acne prone skin. I have really good skin. Did you ever use Proactive? No, I have never used Proactive. What foundation do you use? I don't know if you guys can see, but my foundation collection is kind of on that side. The one that I've got on today is actually the Sleek Bare Skin. And I did make a review and um, review demo and all that. And look, if you want to see what my opinions are on the Sleek Bare Skin, then do do watch that video um but usually i love my estee lauder double wear and i have that in rich caramel rich caramel i think um and i also love my i also love the ysl fusion ink which is quite a new foundation i really like that one that's one that i'm currently using right now um the revlon the <laughs> the estee lauder double wear is a bit too dark for me so i need to get the right color for me what about concealer? I love my MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I use that in NC45 and I am nearly finished with that. Um, but I'm also using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the colour 4. I really like that. But it just have it comes out with water sometimes. I don't know if anyone else if anyone else is does that, but mine sometimes just squirts out water. I don't I'm like what the hell's going on, but yeah, I really like the LA Pro Concealer and it's really inexpensive. Do you know your undertone colour? Um, I don't know my undertone, but I'm an NC45, so I think... Uh, no, no, in MAC, I'm an NC50, so between NC50 and NC45, so I think that's like a yellow undertone. 
I'm not sure to be honest, but I think that is a yellow undertone. What do you think of fake eyelashes? I wish I had the skills to wear fake, I put on fake eyelashes. My lap, I just can't do it. I cannot do it. I don't understand how those girls do it every day, put it on every day. It would take me absolutely ages. I don't think I would ever be one of those people who would wear fake eyelashes every day. Not bashing them, but I just think it's a bit too much for my face anyway. Did you know that you are supposed to change your mascara every three months? Yes, I do know that and I do do that. I am, mascara is one of those things where I do not want to be catching anything on my eyes. What brand of my mascara do you use? I usually use, I love the Maybelline Forces mascara, but I'm currently using the Rimmel Argan Oil mascara and also the Rimmel Lash Accelerator mascara. Sephora or MAC. I live in the UK so there isn't even a Sephora so MAC all the way and I absolutely love MAC. Do you have a MAC Pro card? No I don't. I think you have to be like special to have one and I can't get one. <laughs> um, what makeup tools do you use in your makeup application? So I use, I usually use a dense flat top kabuki brush for my foundation and I have one which I bought from like a Chinese website and then I have the Real Techniques Buffer Brush. Um, for my eyes, I tend to use a flat brush under there, just a flat concealer brush and blush brush. Yeah, I definitely use brushes for my makeup. I don't like using my hands. I just think it gets too, too messy and I get start getting makeup on my clothes and everywhere. So I much prefer just to use brushes. Do you use makeup base um, primer for your eyes? I definitely use a base slash primer for my eyes because I have super oily eyelids and if I didn't eyeshadow would literally like crease and you would be able to see the oils it's really disgusting Ugh. and also for the face I use um for my face I don't use a primer because I have tried a few primers I tried the Benefit Professional I also tried one for MAC and they just make me so much more oilier and they don't make my makeup last any longer. I don't really see the effect of a primer. Um, I might try the Milk of Magnesia because I need something to really control my oils. What is your favourite eyeshadow? My favourite eyeshadow I think has got to be MAC All That Glitters. I absolutely love that eyeshadow and it's one of them eyeshadows which never lets me down like if I just use that in a look I know the look is gonna come out amazing so I absolutely love that one do you use pencil or liquid eyeliner liquid all the way what do you think of pigment eyeshadows I've never used pigment eyeshadows so I don't have an opinion on pigment eyeshadows do you use mineral makeup no I don't use mineral makeup I have tried the Bare Minerals foundation, not as mineral makeup, but I really, I'm a liquid foundation, liquid, no, just, no, it doesn't give me enough coverage, it came out looking patchy, it just wasn't for me. What is your favourite lipstick? Hmm, I would, I, well, in terms of brands, I absolutely love my MAC lipsticks. I think you guys, I don't know if you guys can see them in the back there, absolutely love my MAC lipsticks. And within my MAC lipsticks, I would say I love Rebel, I love Ruby Woo, I love Taupe, Verve, and Sin. They're the ones that I really, really like. I might have forgotten some, but I love my MAC lipsticks. I probably should do a MAC lipstick collection. If anyone wants to see that, then do let me know. Um, what about lip gloss? So I got given these two lip glosses from Bobbi Brown, and... One is in Buff for lip gloss and the other one is nude number eight. So it's just these two colours. I really, really like these and when I run out of these, I'm definitely going to go buy them. I def I especially like Buff number four. Um, it's a really nice nude colour. It looks great with every single nude lipstick and I like the fact that they're slightly sticky because they last longer. What's your favourite blush? I like MAC Gleeful and NARS Exhibit A blush. I've got Exhibit A on today. Do you buy makeup on eBay? I have never bought makeup. Actually, no, I bought the LA Girl Pro Concealer on eBay. But no, I don't regularly buy makeup on eBay. I like to look at the makeup that I got, but I'm actually quite interested in buying some of the eBay palettes. Do you like drugstore makeup? Yeah, I do love drugstore high street makeup. So makeup from Boots and Superdrug. 
yeah, I do like. Um, the only thing that I don't like about drugstore makeup is foundations because they usually don't do colours which are for black people or dark skinned people and if they do they just never work out for me like they're horrible and I'm one of those people where I'm in the in between like with Maybelline I would have to buy two foundations and mix them together but do you go to CCO's no I've only ever been to one which is in York um but no I don't usually go there it's just too far away like I never go that way did you ever consider taking makeup classes? No, I've never actually thought about taking makeup classes and being serious about my makeup addiction. Um, makeup hobby, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. No, I've never done that and I don't know, I think I'd want to but I don't, know really, I don't really know where I stand with the whole makeup. Like, I don't know if I want makeup to be my, what I want to live off. As a career, if you know what I mean. Are you clumsy? Are you clumsy in putting on makeup? No, I'm not clumsy when putting on makeup. Yeah, I'm just name a makeup crime that you hate. Um, I hate when people overdraw their eyebrows. That is just ridiculous. I hate when people overdraw their lips. You know, trying to do this whole Kylie Jenner thing, and then you can just see where the lip stops, and it just looks weird. Um, sorry guys, I'm going to name a few. When people wear foundation which doesn't match them. Actually, another thing that really annoys me, that really, really annoys me, is when people do the whole highlighting and contour thing, but use um, a highlighter which is just far too light for their complexion. Like, it just looks silly. And they just got bright lines under their eyes. Why do people do that? You're not Kim Kardashian. Don't do that. Like, highlight, highlighting and contouring is fine, but choose colours which are actually good for your skin tone. You like colourful shades of makeup, lipstick, eyeshadow, or neutral tones. I like neutral, tone, neutral tones except for my lipstick. I love going all night with lipstick. That is the only thing that I enjoy experimenting with colour. Which celebrity always has great makeup? Well, the Kardashians, that one was pretty easy to say. The Kardashians always have really great makeup. If you could leave the house with just one makeup item, what would you use? Hmm, eyeliner, definitely eyeliner because I don't really have problem skin, but with eyeliner, you can really make your eyes pop. Could you ever leave the house without any makeup on? Yes, definitely I could leave the house without makeup on. I think that's, it's healthy. You need to feel comfortable within yourself. Like makeup is just something, I always find that makeup is just something for fun. Um, that's why I like to experiment with different things. And that when it gets to the point where you rely on it and it's like the most important thing to you and you can't leave your house, I think that's when it becomes a problem and it's no longer fun. Do you think you look good with without any makeup on yeah i'm comfortable with myself without any makeup on like i don't rely on makeup to make me feel good about myself um you know i genuinely makeup is fun i enjoy putting it on i think it's i get excited about putting makeup on i don't rely on makeup makeup doesn't define me i don't know is that too deep <laughs> oh god in your opinion what is the best makeup line hmm what do you mean by me I don't quite understand what you mean by makeup line. I don't understand what. I'm, yeah. And what the last question is? What do you think of makeup? Just like I said before, I think makeup should be something that is fun, um, that should be fun and should be enjoyed, and people shouldn't take it so seriously. And people should feel comfortable within themselves. Makeup is, should only be used to enhance what you already have. Like, I don't know. Don't try to change yourself too much. Don't rely on it too much because. I don't know, like, I just don't think it's, I think it just should be enjoyed. I love makeup, I've loved it since I was young, and I will continue to love it, and it will always be kind of one of them addiction, one of those things I'm addicted to, and I genuinely love and have a passion for. So yeah, guys, that was my tag, and I will catch you guys in my next video. I hope you like the background with all my makeup, and hope you comment, rate, and subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. Bye!